Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we'll look at a practical example to see how generics provide us type safety. Now, instead of using some predefined types in our program, like string, integer, boolean, etc., we will use our own user-defined types. So we'll create our own classes, right? That way it will help you understand the concept better. Okay? So I've already created two classes over here, student and teacher. So our student class is having two fields, name of type string and roll number of type integer. And then we have a parameterized constructor, which will be used for initializing this object. Then similarly, our teacher class is having two fields, name of type string and teacher ID of type integer. And then again, we have a parameterized constructor. Now let's create a student array first. So I've created a student array of size 10. Now let's try to add some student objects to it. So I have added a student object to this array, new student, and then I'm initializing this object with some values. So S1 is the name and 101 is the roll number. Now let's add one more student object. Now so far it is fine. Now let's try to add a teacher object. Now in this case, we are getting a compile time error, which says type mismatch cannot convert from teacher to student. And that is because arrays are type safe. So a student array will only accept student type of data, right? Now let's create a non-generic version of array list. Now a non-generic version is also called as a raw type. Okay. Now let's add some data to it. So I've added a student object, then another student object, and then a teacher object. Now in this case, we are not getting any compile time error. And that is because Internally, this list will be using an object array. Okay, so if you look at the signature of this add method, then you can see that it takes a parameter of type object. And since object class is at the root of the Java class hierarchy, this method will accept any type of data. Okay, and that is the reason we are not getting any compile time error over here. Okay, now let's create an array list of student. And now let's try to add some data to it. So I'm adding a student object, then another student object. And now let's try to add a teacher object. Now in this case, again, we are getting a compile time error, which says the method add student is not applicable to arguments teacher, right? So our array list has become type safe now. Okay. So this array list of student will only accept student type of data, right? So that is the benefit which we get by using generics. It provides us type safety. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.